Well, there's my FedEx guy. Come back any day now, you hear? tightened up I'll be right back for y'all. To make that part a little quicker I just got my little ratchet with a number 10 socket so it wouldn't take as long. Next we're gonna take this little first portion of the handlebars here 
taking it over the slide. Back there just like that. It's got two holes on each side. And we got the little bolt with the plastic hand nuts on it. I said it had two guys. It's got two up here. It's just got one down here at the bottom. So you want to come in with your screw from the inside. Push it through because the head of that bolt is shaped kind of to fit the roundness of that bar. And that's just hand tighten. Do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to go on with the left handle bar. And this one to take two of your little bolts in your knob. No, no. Like I said, I don't know what you properly call that, a knob tightener. We're going to come in from the inside again. And your top handle bar has two of these on each side. Real simple to assemble. It has instructions right here. But I really didn't see the, see the need to get out the instructions. I thought I could figure this one out. One thing, when I put the wheels on, you got your little depth gauge here. You want to pull your pin out. It just drops right here. And you can adjust the depth of it. I'm gonna just get it right there because we we'll have to won't be getting to try this out today so we're just assembling it on the first part of the video and I might get some gas in here mixed up get her fired up and then we'll have to try her be another day for me but so now I'm finna take the Plastic and they got the zip tie around the plastic right here So I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut this zip tie So I can get the plastic off of there And they send a couple of extra zip ties here and I'm sure that's the zip tie your cord going up your handle there Right here we're gonna do the same thing Put this handle on. Put the second bolt through. We're gonna put our wrenches back in here. You got a spark plug wrench and a Phillips screwdriver. I figure you can adjust your carburetor idle or something that's something we'll check into after we get it fired up Put these little wrenches back in the bag and the only other thing to do is take your zip ties let's see that looks like it'll be good right there I'm actually going to put a zip tie down here because I got some extra zip ties myself. We'll put one right here. Yeah, I'm going to put, I'm going to get an extra zip tie because I want three on here. And that's it. Now I am going to look in the book here. I'm going to set this on the floor, give y'all a closer up shot of it, or I can do that right here and turn it around for y'all so y'all can see what she looks like. I am going to look in the book real quick while y'all looking at the front there to see what the oil mixture ratio is. I'm thinking it's going to be 40 to 1. That's what it is. Use two-stroke oil, regular, unleaded, petrol. Fuel to oil mixture rate is 40 to 1. And you got this handy dandy little mixing can. 
pull your hole in this side. What I like about this is it's got a 25 to 1, 30 to 1, and a 40 to 1. So a 40 to 1 on this side, you put an oil until you get up to that 10. Then you would fill your gas bottle up till it gets to that 10 right there. Shake it up good. And then you got that much fuel mixed up at 40 to 1. So these things are handy. But we're going to spin her on around. I keep hitting myself on the handlebar there. That's what she looks like on the left side. Now I think you can adjust your wheels right here. And that's something we'll look into when we actually start using it. And you can actually pull just these pins right here on the cultivator teeth and remove them very easily. Rather, you need to just clean them. See how easy they are to remove? If you get stuff wrapped around them or something, you need to take them off. That's how easy they are to remove. So let me set this on the floor and go get some gas mixed up and we're going to see if we can get her to fire off. So this is how you use your oil mixer jug. You look on the side that has 40 to 1 root up here. Put your two stroke oil right up here to that 10 or if you only want to mix to 5 you'd only put it to 5 and put your fuel in this side up to 5 but I'm going on doing the 10 and up to 10. Now I'm going to take this outside, but then you just turn it upside down, pour your oil into your gas. Kind of mix it around. Keep doing that till you know you get it all the oil out of here and it's mixed into the gas. I ain't going outside because it ain't leaking. You just want to make sure you got it mixed real good and all your oil out of the oil side. Then we're going to put some fuel in this little baby. Now I don't know what that 10 stands for or that 5 stands for. How much gas that actually is. But mixing up the 10 in here filled the fuel tank on here up about 3 quarters full. did spill just a little bit of gas but I got an old rag right here. Like I said guys this thing's pretty pretty good built. Now let's see what we're gonna do right now. We got an on and off switch. I think I got that on. And right here we got a primer bulb just like you do on just about all two strokes nowadays. I'm going to give that about 10 pumps till I know it's primed. You got the carburetor full of fuel. Here's the choke. Pull it back to choke and forward to run. Just for curiosity, I'm going to look at the air filter before I ever start it. You got your little air filter in there. We'll make sure it had, was in there since I just opened this up. And I'm going to set this on the floor before I crank it. Okay, are y'all ready? I want y'all to take a pause and go down there to the comments below this video and go on and guess how many pulls you're going to take this thing to start. This will be the very first time it's ever been started. And y'all seen what I did. So right now, go down there and put a guess. You think it's going to crank in one pool, ten pools, four pools? I'm waiting. Y'all go down there. I need comments. I'm still waiting. <laughs> All right, well, let's go. One, two, three, four. Four 
pools. Now I'm gonna leave the choke off and see if it'll fire up on one pool. out here so I can get the specs right for y'all. This here is the model 520S engine two stroke combustion engine displacement 43 cm. I don't know if that's 43 cc's or I ain't sure. 44 cm with a little three over the top of it. Speed 7500 slash MIN, max speed 8500 slash MIN, fuel tank 1.26 liters, you're working width 25 centimeters, working depth 120 millimeters, cutter thickness 2.1 millimeters, I guess it's talking about the thickness of the blades. The weight is 17.75 kilograms, and uh, that's pretty much all miners. Guaranteed sound power level 1, 111 dB. So the displacement, 43 CM3. I'll put that in the screen right there. I have to convert that over to see what that is. But guys, that's the first part of this little assembling of this. And I'm going to have to wait when it dries up. It ain't raining to get out there and test it out and use it. 